share your reaction to this? Uh, well, Dallas always good to win over Dallas. Well, good to win anywhere. Um, yeah, our third quarter was amazing. We really made a lot of shots. Um, got some stops, got out and ran, and it was a, you know, it was a huge, huge quarter for us. I mean, 44 to 17. I mean, after after the first half, where where you know both teams <clears throat> scored 61, 64, it didn't seem like anybody was going to score 17 in the quarter in that game. How do you feel overall about the defense, even in that first half on Dirk? Um, you know, not bad. They, they, we were trying to run them. We were trying to do some stuff. He's, you know, he's, he's just a fantastic player. <clears throat> Early in the game, you know, they were making threes on us, and they were kind of picking us apart. They got um, all in transition. We got mixed up. We had a couple, couple cross-checking things going where we didn't um, didn't handle that well. But um, in the third quarter, we were able to uh, start off <clears throat> getting some old rules a couple times and got a couple. Uh, Couple dunks, kind of got the defense a little sagged in there, and then uh, we got a few stops, and then you know, I mean, the guys made a lot of shots. That, that, you know, that's 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 unusual. I mean, Chandler was 12 for 13. I, you know, he, the only shot he missed was that kind of heat check three. So, uh, you know, it was, but it was a heck of a game for us. We, you know, we uh, we needed a game like that badly just to kind of come out and play and have some good things happen. You spent so much time working on defense the last couple of weeks and really throughout the season, but you feel like that third quarter was sort of the manifestation of some of the things that you've been working on? Yeah, yeah, you know, and, and on our, uh, with our team, we're always better defensively for making shots. And they're still at the age where their offense kind of dictates a little bit of their defensive energy. And so we were making shots and that helped too. You mentioned, you mentioned Chandler. How about your thoughts overall on Chandler's performance? Chandler played very well. I mean, at 32, I got to believe that's a uh, yeah, uh, career high for him. And, I mean, he played well. He made shots. He played well. Um, I thought that Jeremy and James, uh, you know, they had 16 assists between the two of them and two turnovers. Those guys did a nice job of moving. They kind of overextended on um, on <coughs> on James, excuse me, a little bit. Then we had some pretty good ball movement. You know, it's, um, Dallas is going to pack the paint, and that's, that's bothered us the last couple of years. But then if you make the extra pass, make them scramble a little bit more, and we did a better job of that. Archie Chandler's offense was in the spotlight, but his defense tonight, he helped to hold Dirk to around eight, or eight points. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. Dirk holds himself to eight points. If, 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 Dirk, if Dirk gets eight, that, 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 guy, that guy can score. Um, you know, it's just one of those nights where you know we, we really had a lot of stuff going. And, and, uh, um, like I say, that third quarter was just, you know, that, that was the game right there. That, that, you know, for us, pushing it, getting the extra pass, getting out, getting steals or getting defensive stops, that, you know, that's how we have to play. That, that's like for us, if you were going to like say, um, you know, get a perfect quarter for your team, that would be it. We got stops, got out, spread the court, ran, made the extra pass, and, and made some shots. Coach, a win like this gives extended playing time for some of the guys on the bench, most notably Thomas Robinson. Kind of talk to how Thomas seems to be accepting his role and, and how it will be defined going forward. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think you know, accepting his role, I don't know if he, we don't even know his role is yet, okay. you know. So it's hard. I, but I told Thomas we just got to, you know, got to play by feel right now. You know, we'll, we'll uh, we got some guys dinged up, so we'll take tomorrow off. We'll practice hard Tuesday, see what he does again there. We're just, I'm just trying to get a feel for him, and he's trying to get a feel for what we're doing. So, but, you know, I, I like I, I like what he does defensively. He can get out and show and pick and rolls. You can switch stuff with him. He's got good active hands defensively. He gets down. And can really move his feet, so he might be able to give us a um, <coughs> excuse me, give us a um, a different look defensively at that you know at that four or five spot where we can switch things. Um, I wanted to see him switch, and he did a nice job on some guards. I think he can, I think he can, he can guard threes and you know twos and threes. I think keep him in front of him. So I, it'll be interesting to see how he evolves. And, and he's just a young kid. You know, he's, he's it's always hard. I said this earlier. You know when you get traded in, in your rookie year. It's, that's like a double whammy because the first whammy is to get this league out. This league is so much different than college and so much more difficult. And then getting traded, he's got all, all new terminology, all new stuff to learn. So it's tough for him. Um, moving Francisco into the rotation, what do you hope to, that he can bring? I don't know. I just, I just like, um, you know, I, actually, you know, he and James are both really, really good pros. Um, I just, you know, I, I, just, I just think Francisco's just got a presence about him and he's not afraid to say I mean, he just knows what he's doing like yesterday in practice he faced you know Demo was we, we were going to put Demo on um, 
to Marion. And then you know, he, he cut, because Demo had his head turned. He goes, no, Marion's going to cut like that tomorrow in the game. And I said, that meant more to Demo than me screaming, you know, face, he hears me yell all the time, don't get face cut, don't get face cut. But when the guy does it and turns around and goes, that's what he's going to do tomorrow, you can just see Demo went like, oh, and he made the cut on purpose, you know, being Sean Marion. And I went like, oh, thank goodness. Because, you know, if you told one of those guys, that are, the other guys that are Sean Marion, they, they, they'd be, huh? <laughs> and so I just, I, you know, right there, I just sat down and I went, that, that, that's going to mean more for learning and, and getting better than all, all of the me yelling at him. Nice to have a 30 something or Yeah, we we'll have many of those. You mentioned uh, Jeremy, is that about as well as you see him play all year? Well, you know, Jeremy, yeah, I mean, Jeremy's had a lot of good games for us. And I mean, yeah, that, that, that's the high end, but I mean, anytime you have you know, eight for 14, 21 points, nine assists, two turnovers, that's high end for everybody. I mean, it's high end for Chris Paul. So, um, you know, he played well, but he's had a lot of games recently. He had real high end games and stuff. And, and uh, you know, I, I think just like, like all, all of our young guys, I, you know, <clears throat> as you get older, you just get more consistent. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to have 21 and 9 all the time, but you, 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 find, your, you find your level. Then you just kind of go out there and, and you maintain a consistency. But Jeremy, Jeremy's more than, you know, I, I think what Jeremy proved last year <clears throat> is that his high end ceiling, he can get on a roll and, and sustain it for a while. And we're going to need him to. I mean, we have, what, 21 games left. And, you know, I mean, it, I, as I said, you know, win, lose, or draw tonight. We play these guys again Wednesday. We have a three game road trip. We come off this three-game road trip, and we have a real long homestead where we got to you know, make some hay. But we got to go on the road and try to win a few games, and um, you know, so we're going to need him playing at, at a high end. And, and you know, he didn't play. The, and that's the thing I like about Jeremy. He didn't play the fourth quarter of the last game um, in Orlando because Patrick played so well, and he was excited on the bench. He's just a good teammate. Okay.